Good evening. Wisconsin Democrats are introducing a bill yet again to fully legalize cannabis for adult responsible use, a proposal state Republicans have long opposed. NBC 15's Shana Nijawan spoke with Democratic leaders about why they're optimistic this time around that the bill will get a hearing and pass. That's right, Lee. For the last decade, Wisconsin State Senator Melissa Agard has pushed for the legalization of cannabis. After years of opposition, Republican lawmakers have started to build support for a medical cannabis program, which could be enacted into law later this year. Meanwhile, Democrats continue to push for full legalization. Opportunity is out there for a lot of people. It's going to be another green rush when cannabis does come fully legal in our state. Head of Wisconsin's Hemp Farmers and Manufacturers Association, Philip Scott, says legalizing cannabis would provide opportunities for farmers across Wisconsin. We truly believe at the end of the day that this is one of the last true commodity crops that will allow farmers to be able to gain an extra set of revenue. Friday, State Senator Melissa Agard gathered with Democratic leaders at a hemp farm in Cottage Grove, introducing another legislation to fully legalize marijuana. The devil's in the details with all policy making, and if we can get a good medicinal policy in Wisconsin, I think that that is better than where we are now. But I will absolutely continue advocating for responsible adult use cannabis policy in the state of Wisconsin. Democratic leaders highlighting the revenue increase and decline in racial disparities full legalization could lead to. An ACLU study back in 2018 found that black folks in some of our counties, like Ozaki, right, are 34.9% more likely to be arrested and incarcerated for having simple possession of cannabis. Republicans, meanwhile, have been discussing approving medical marijuana. This bill had a public hearing in April, the first time such a bill has made it that far in the GOP-controlled legislature. Assembly Speaker Representative Robin Voss previously said a bill creating a medical program could pass this fall. Proponents of full legalization continue to push back. There is talks of the medicinal bills and things like that coming, but you know, realistically, with almost 39 to 41 states across the country already having some form of cannabis legalization, I think to not hinder things, it would make sense to move forward with full legalization. Neighboring states Illinois, Michigan, and Minnesota allow recreational use, while Iowa has legalized medical use. Live in the studio, Shana Nijawin, NBC 15 News. Shana, thank you. And though several of Wisconsin's neighbors have legalized cannabis, as you mentioned, the laws have some pretty big differences. Minnesota just legalized marijuana last month, allowing people to possess up to two pounds of cannabis flower at home, but only two ounces can be taken into public. Illinois is much more restrictive, allowing only 30 grams. That's just over an ounce. But Illinois doesn't have any difference between how much you can have at home versus in public. But the limit is lower if you are not an Illinois resident. Michigan falls in the middle with a limit of 10 ounces at home and two and a half ounces in public.